Hello everyone, welcome to this series of video lectures based on uh, Dirac delta function. So, in the previous videos, uh, we learned about the uh, definition of the Dirac delta function and its properties, its representation and modeling uh, Dirac delta function as a limiting case of other functions. And uh, we also learned how to calculate Fourier transform and Laplace transform of the delta function. So now in this video and uh, in the next video, uh, we will uh, we will solve some examples or problems. Uh, so in this video, uh, we are going to solve few problems, and in the next video, uh, we will be solving uh, some problems that uh, came in just uh, in the just exam uh, from the year 2012 to 2020. Okay, so this is our first problem. So the integration is uh, 0 to 3 x square delta of x minus 2 dx. Okay. So here the delta function is defined at x equals to 2 and the integration ranges from 0 to 3. So x equals to 2 this point x equals to 2 lies between 0 to 3. So we can uh, use this property. Uh, say b to c f of x delta x minus a dx equals to f of a if mm, b a is greater than a greater than sorry b is uh, less than a less than c and 0 otherwise ok so uh, this condition is satisfied uh, so we can say the value of the integration will be 2 cube that is equals to 8 so our right option is option c okay so now let's go to our next problem so we have to evaluate this integral 2 to 6 3 x square minus 2 x minus 1 delta x minus 3 dx so the first thing we need to check whether this delta function lies uh, within this range of the integration that is 2 to 6 so here delta function is defined at x equals to 3 so it uh, lies within this range so the value of the integration will be 3 into 3 square minus 2 into 3 that is we have to put this 3 in its argument uh, of this function so minus 1 which is 27 3 square 9 times 3 is 27 minus 12 minus 1 okay oh sorry it is uh, only 3 so it is 6 so the answer is 20 okay i think there is a misprint uh, in these options so the answer will be 20 okay so 20 it is 27 minus 7 which is 20 okay let's go to our next problem so this problem is integration for minus 1 to plus 1 x x square delta 3x plus 1 dx okay so again we are going to use the property of delta kx plus minus p is equals to 1 over mod k delta x uh, plus minus b by k so whenever you find a problem like this that is there is a coefficient with x then you have to take out this coefficient uh, from its argument so that the uh, coefficient of the x uh, is equals to 1 so uh, we have to make it zero so now so in our case minus infinity to plus 1 x square and if you take out this 3 then it will be mod of 3 delta x plus 1 third dx so let's uh, take out this constant 1 over mod 3 minus now 1 over 3 lies between minus uh, 1 to plus 1 so let's put uh, its value directly <coughs> so it is 1 over 3 whole square 
so it is 1 over 27 so the answer is C okay now let's come to our next problem so this integration is 0 to 1 e to the power x square delta x minus 2 so here our delta function is defined at x equals to 2 but the range of the integration is from 0 to 1 so this delta function uh, doesn't lies between uh, this range so the value of this delta function will be of this integral will be 0 so the answer is a okay so the next problem is uh, 0 to pi tan square x delta of x square minus pi by 4 whole square dx okay so this is a problem of uh, delta function of a function to evaluate it we can directly use the property minus infinity to plus infinity f of x delta x square minus a square dx is equals to 1 over 2a mod of 2a mm. uh, uh, what was it uh, sorry uh, this is not fx this is delta x square minus a square is delta x minus a plus delta x plus a okay so in our case uh, a is plus minus pi by 4 so delta x square minus pi by 4 whole square is equals to uh, 1 over 2a that is pi by 4 delta x minus pi by 4 plus delta x plus pi by 4 okay so it is 2 over pi delta x minus pi by 4 plus delta x plus pi by 4 okay now uh, let's evaluate the integration so 0 to pi tan square x delta x square minus pi by 4 whole square dx is equals to 2 by pi 0 to pi uh, tan square x and delta x minus pi by 4 plus delta x plus pi by 4 dx okay but the range of the integration is from 0 to pi so this point uh, okay so the roots are x equals to pi by 4 and x equals to minus pi by 4 but this root doesn't lie between 0 to pi so this will give 0 and we only left with delta x minus pi by 4 and so the in value of the integral will be tan square pi by 4 and tan pi by 4 is equals to 1 so the answer of the integration is 2 over pi so the correct option is a 2 over pi okay let's solve our next problem so the next problem is integration minus pi by 4 to 4 x minus 2 whole square delta prime that is derivative of delta function with respect to x minus 1 third x plus half dx okay uh, so it is given that uh, uh, delta prime of minus 1 third x plus half so you can't use any direct formulas because uh, we uh, we have the formulas for delta only delta not its derivative delta kx plus minus b um, th there is a relation for it but uh, there is no relation for we don't know any relation for uh, delta prime x so we can evaluate it by doing integration by parts so let's uh, evaluate it 
so x minus 2 whole square now integrating it with give delta minus 1 third x plus half and the limit is minus 4 to uh, plus 4 again okay there will be uh, minus 1 third here Uh, uh, for integrating this uh, delta prime and this argument so again we have minus of x minus 2 whole square that is we have to take the derivative with respect to x and uh, we have 1 over minus 1 third delta minus one third x plus half okay and dx so now the delta function now if you okay let's do it uh, minus 3 x minus 2 whole square now let's uh, use this formula delta of kx plus minus b uh, which is mod of k delta x uh, plus minus b by k so uh, we have it is 3 into delta x minus 3 by 2 integration minus 4 to plus 4 now if you take the derivative with respect to x of x minus 2 whole square then you will have 2 times x minus 2 so minus minus 4 to integration from minus 4 to plus 4 and this is minus 3 and uh, again uh, this uh, factor will be 1 over uh, minus of 1 over mod of minus 1 third delta x minus 3 by 2 now this term will be 0 because uh, this delta function is defined at x equals to 1.5 but uh, if you put the limit plus minus 4 then it will give you 0 because the value of this delta function uh, other than x equals to 1.5 is 0 so we only left with uh, so this uh, there is a 3 here there is a 3 here minus 3 and there is a 2 here so this is 18 times integration minus 4 2 plus 4 x minus 2 delta x minus 3 by 2 which is 1.5 so uh, this one x equals to 1.5 lies between minus 4 to 4 so uh, we have delta 18 times now we have to put uh, in this uh, argument that is x equals to 3 by 2 uh, in fx and in our case fx is x minus 2 so it is minus 3 sorry 3 by 2 minus 2 so it is 18 times minus half which is minus 9 so our answer is c so that's it for this video See you in the next video and in the next video uh, I will solve a uh, few more problems uh, on Dr delta functions uh, that already came in uh, in this exam. So see you in the next video.